Now, I've been researching these, these, these kind of four areas where you can make money. Mm -hmm. and, and if I'm missing one, you tell me, okay? But this is okay. kind of the four where I'm, I'm seeing that you can monetize. Um, one is brand endorsements. Sure. Two is product sales. We actually sell something. Right. Three is a book writing. Right. And four is brand consulting, where somebody asks you to consult for them. And we do all four of them. Is there anything else I'm missing where I'm going, you're um, saying, Clay, this is another way you can get paid, and I'm not aware of it. I would say those are like the four main areas. Okay. Like we actually, and um, so when a brand comes to you, there's, um, in, to advertise on your site, um, they will say, uh, you know, we want you to take this new product that we want to promote, and we want you to make, you know, we want it to come alive. Yep. Where in traditional advertising, they would, um, it would, the ad agency would create the ad, then the PR agency would promote the ad, and then the publisher would publish the ad, and mm -hmm. then the distributor would distribute, you know, the sales and just, you know, the distributor would distribute the magazines, right? But like you're kind of doing all of them now. We do all of them, right? Wow. One stop shop. Now, so and I'm gonna and I'm gonna, and again, you did not, and I'm not ripping you. I, I didn't graduate from college. You didn't go to college, right? No. So you've learned this as you go. Right. Is there any particular book that you've got like an aha moment for you or anything that you've gone through this that kind of helped you learn how to monetize? Well, I mean, I think that um, it was a step-by-step -step process for us. I mean, my husband definitely guides, you know, a lot of that. Yeah. And um, St. Jonathan. A, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, Jonathan's amazing. So, um, so he definitely has guided like the, you know, where to be, at, he's a forecaster. So like at the right time, right place kind of thing. But um, there's a book like in blogging specifically and in independent publishing specifically, I, I think it's called um, Blogging Inc. I think Joy Cho wrote that book. Um, we'll have to like uh, look at, I'm, I'm pretty sure Joy wrote that we'll book. We'll have the throbbing brain that represents the Thrive Research team look that up and Perfect. put it on there for you. Right, so that was that's a really good book, and it really is super helpful. Okay. And then there's another book that was um, oh, recipes for PR. I think I'll get it to because I'm, I'm probably misquoted, but I'll I'll get the name of the book. But it's a really great book too, like how to um, tap into like um, like be your own PR team and like. Well, one thing there's a, uh, anything by it. Michael Levine. If you're watching this. Uh, Michael Levine's one of the top PR uh, agents in the in the country. He's unbelievable, uh, and you get a chance to look up any of his stuff too. Michael Levine, he's got some great stuff. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because because you do not have a formal education, it does not give you an excuse to not get the education you need to deliver. I right. mean, you got that contract, and you got a month to figure it out. You well, have right. to deliver. No, and I, fi I, I figured out very quickly with driving traffic, I f figured out very, very, very quickly on how to um, – uh, aggregate my content and to drive traffic back. And I literally like uh, created my own formula where actually the um, the social me media manager, uh, like SVP of all of Disney Interactive, um, asked me, and she wasn't, that wasn't her position at the time, but she asked me um, how I was doing it. Ooh. And so I wrote a whole list down and um, she was like, do you mind if I share that with everybody else? And I said, of course. What, when you say that you, you've used the word aggregate sometimes, I sure. just want to make sure that we're all, that with Thrivers, nobody watching this is kind of like, what are you talking about? What do you mean by that? I mean like spreading the word, getting, getting um, like spreading the word about the, the content, piece of content that you created for the internet that you've published on the internet. Okay, well we're gonna get in here talking about brand endorsements, okay? Okay. So. Um, First off, with the brand endorsements, I mean, you've had, have you ever had brands reach out to you um, that, that, or that, that, I guess, have you ever had a brand reach out to you where they just came out and found you, or have you reached out to all of them? They've all reached out to me. See, every, and, I, and I had read that. Every that, single that, one that of that them. That was, and I wanted to ask you personally, that's true. Right, that is true. Every single one of them has reached every out to you. Every single one. That's sick. See, I, I come from the old school. I'm old school. Yeah. Where what you do is you dial and smile. You call them dial all. Dial them and smile. And you, until you find the person, that one, and you're saying they're coming to you. Right. Which goes back to what you said at the very beginning. If mm -hmm. you make great content, people will find you. Especially on the internet, like and with all the tools and... Um, and yeah, I, and I'm not gonna, you know, no one's gonna freak out if you forget a brand maybe here. But what are some of the brands that have hired you over the years? Go ahead and just kind of share. Uh, with IKEA, us. McDonald's, Subaru, HP, Nestle, 
Disney, Martha Stewart, um, Platt Enterprises, Coates and Clark, um, LG. Um, I'm like, um, uh, gosh, I wish I, I had a list. I can send you my media kit as well, and like we can like. Well, let me tell you what. First off, I'm not impressed by LG or McDonald's because I mean, Nestle, who hasn't been approached by Mc, like LG or McDonald's? Like or McDonald's, Nestle, Home Depot, whatever, Home Depot. Um, we, we're doing it like Pottery Barn. It um, seems like all you focus on is the big, really successful companies. You don't focus on the small. No, we've got little guys too, no, like really. um, uh, T Collection, and um, we have. Uh, different kinds of partnerships with uh, the smaller brands. There's no way I can rip this. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. There's no way for me to be sarcastic. That is amazing. That is awesome. <laughs>